Right now in Australia, COVID-19 is spreading. It's spreading quite fast. We've got community transmission. More and more places uh, are going to have transmission. So COVID-19 spreads quite easily between people when they cough or sneeze, but also when the droplets that come out hit surfaces, remain viable for many hours, someone else touches them, then they touch their mouth and their nose and their eyes, and they auto-inoculate themselves. COVID transmits very easily, so a large proportion of the population is likely to get infected. For every one person with COVID-19, two or three other people are getting infected. For influenza, for every one person with influenza, they only infect one or one and a half other people. Influenza is estimated to kill about 3,000 Australians every year. This new COVID uh, pandemic could do exactly the same. About 3,000 people might die. That's the best case estimate that I can think of. The worst case estimate is many thousands. When you're in a public space, say a supermarket, and you go to sneeze, well then you should sneeze into the crook of your arm. If you're going to cough, use a tissue that can then be discarded. Both using soap and water for a minimum of 20 seconds, singing happy birthday twice, or using hand sanitizer with alcohol, both of them are very effective. So you don't have to worry about one or the other, both work. If you're going to shake hands because you've just seen someone who's a good friend, don't. Wave, smile. You don't need to physically touch people to say, you're important to me. At present in Australia, in March, there's no clear evidence that going to a mass gathering is a problem. So going to the restaurant, going to a football match, going to a concert, they're all just fine. If you were planning to go on a cruise, I would say, not a good idea. Cruise ships are great places for spreading infection. If you have symptoms, you're likely to only have a cold, a runny nose, a cough, a fever. In that case, you can self-monitor at home. The great majority of people do not need to go to their GP or the hospital. A small percentage of people who have at-risk conditions and who in self-monitoring note that they're getting worse, higher fever, faster breathing, worse cough, feeling really more unwell, then they can phone their GP. And the GP can say, okay, come and see me or go straight to ED because I'm worried that you're too severe. So the great majority can self-monitor at home without medical intervention. The Australian Academy of Science, because questions need answers.